Good morning DS106. It's Rowan Peter here from Melbourne, Australia, your classroom correspondent. Coming to you via a video field report from Busan, South Korea. I'm now on the other side of the Suyong River in a district called Centum City, which I think was developed for the APEC conference here in 2008. So, as you see, there's some new apartment development as well as some uh, shopping centre development. And uh, in this area along the Centum City, it's nice and paved. And over there behind the trees is Seong River. So let's take a bit of a skate and uh, tour around Centum City. It's now about 7 a.m. on Friday, the 9th of September. Everyone's getting busy. On about the Friday, up on our left, you can see a new development which is yet to be completed. It's some crazy architecture. Just... Kind of looks like a mutant Death Star not yet fully operational I think is the line so, some sculpture let's do a detour back around here this is a bit like a small planet cool, some community sculpture bit of wind shear on the microphone, I do apologise. Cool, uh, we're coming up into one of the major department stores here in Centum City, Shinsege. Shinsege is pretty big. And over just behind that tree is Lotte, Lotte department store which is like an upmarket department store saying things like your, your Louis Vuitton bags and your uh, SK2 makeup and all that kind of stuff Shinsege is even more upmarket so and I don't think they're just knockoff they're real stuff but that kind of stuff doesn't really interest me and that's okay What Shinsege does have is a really cool bookstore called Kyobo, which you can see up on the sign in a second. We'll just come to a stop. What do we got? So, bottom, there's Kyobo, cool bookstore kind of like borders but not closed and massive. Books are pretty cheap here in Korea. And also a real interest, second from the top, there is the ice rink. I checked it out the other day, didn't get to skate it, but just checked the prices, it's like $7 for two hours.